In the previous videos, we understood what is a character set and what are keywords and identifiers, what are the rules of defining proper identifiers. We also understood what is a proper naming conventions for identifiers for different Java components. So as part of learning programming language, so the next step is to understand a grouping keywords and identifiers in order to write an instruction or a statement. So a statement or an instruction is nothing but a group of words which will give a particular instruction to the computer to perform a task. An instruction also is called a statement or statement also called as an instruction. These two words are interchangeably used in computer language. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you're new to Training Monk, we're the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. Let us look at an example. Suppose here you have a program of identifying a duplicate element in an array. Don't worry about this program at all. You might not understand any syntax. My intention here is to explain what is an instruction or a statement. So every line that whatever you write in your Java program is called basically a statement or an instruction. So this is one instruction, this is another instruction, this is another instruction, etc. So every instruction ends with a semicolon. So if you can look at that, some of the instructions are ending with a curly brace and some of the instructions are ending with semicolon. So usually a statement ends with semicolon. This is part of declaration, which you will understand it, right? Now if you look at this, this is the first statement which again opened it with a curly brace and some of them will be end with a semicolon. So this one is basically an instruction. So all these instructions, a set of instructions, basically we call it as a program. A set of programs we basically call it as a project. So this is how the steps involved in learning a program. So we understood character set, we understood keywords and identifiers, we group them together to form a sentence and we keep on writing these statements or instructions to form a program and a group of programs basically leads to your project. So these are the steps for learning. So if you can understand this, you keep on writing your instructions to form a program and you keep on writing programs to build a project. So that is what is the steps for learning the programming.